We can take you now to the most remote towns and settlements of Mali. Traditions passed down through the ages are extremely important to village life here. Our observer, Bukhari Konate, decided he wanted to get to know his country better. So he started traveling and discovered objects and practices he never knew existed. I discovered a Dogon hat, which is not just any hat. It protects people from the sun, but also from flies and mosquitoes. When a young person is working in the fields, they just have to shake their head to get rid of the flies and mosquitoes. In the same way, I also took part in Dogon mask dances. Sometimes, people might think it's just a show. But recently, I discovered that these shows are a social tradition. The masks represent the Dogon people, the Bambaras, the Puls, and also the value of women in society. But what worries Bukhari is that younger generations don't seem interested. And he's scared the ancestral traditions he's found could disappear. The project is called Quand le village se réveille. It's about collecting and sharing aspects of Malian culture via new information and communication technologies. As soon as I arrive in a village and I meet old people, I take out my computer and tell them I'd like to save their knowledge. That makes them happy. Even if they don't understand how it works, they trust us and open up to us. Village elders tell us that once you forget where you're from, it's difficult to know where you're going. If you want to know more about Bukhari's project, you can go on the Facebook page Quand le village se réveille, which in English means when the village wakes up.